what we do every day matters. Modern forestry affects the possibility for animals and plants to be connected. So the big challenge is to maintain biodiversity for future generations. If we lose biodiversity, we might have very few options remaining if we are challenged with a crisis, with global warming or something bad happens. Sometimes species are very interlinked, interwoven into networks. So if you pull one species out of the forestry context, what will happen to the other species in the forest? Before uh, we do any forest operation, we always do a thorough investigation to find any natural cultural values in the forest. We frequently seek advice from authorities or uh, independent experts. After that, we can decide how to adapt our forestry to minimize the consequences. Deadwood is very important to woodpeckers and tree-living insects. We don't have enough dead wood in the Swedish forest today, but we are working to increase it. Those high stumps you see over there are very good examples of this. Special care has to be taken around bodies of water in the forest. They are critical to uh, many species and ecosystems. The edge zone around water is like a buffer zone in the landscape. We have protected a water area. It's a swampland with broad leaves and smaller trees among the conifer trees. If we think about the history, northern forests have naturally regenerated as a result of fire. And that is the reason why we practice control burning. We have helped forest owners to perform a controlled burning. It's a very efficient way to protect biodiversity. We have a lot of plants and insects and bugs and birds that see this burned area like a perfect habitat. The soil is very fertile and of course the new generation of the trees, they enjoy that fertilization and they grow very fast. Next summer, this, this area will be green and full of life again. I'm rather optimistic. We've had a era of 100 years where we restored a lot of biomass. We lost some biodiversity, but we brought a lot of biodiversity back. All the major animals are back. All mammals, quite many birds, are thriving in good populations. So I think we have a good starting point for the future. Don't lose that. <laughs>